Hey y'all, hey, I'm just uh, checking in with you to see what is your favorite fitness gadget? Uh, my uh, flavor of the week or of the month is uh, the Ashley Black Fascia Blaster. So fascia is the tissue between the muscle and the skin. Um, it is connective tissue and sometimes when it gets bound up and tight, it restricts the blood flow to certain areas and it can put tension on joints. For example, like the knees, the knees start to get really tight, you might need to do some rolling on that to get that tissue broken up and loosened up. So I really like this bad boy and I'm curious what your favorite uh, fitness tools are. Um, for today's workout, we're going to do 20 tens and it's going to be push up with a pike and then we're going to do some floor dips and I'm going to show you some fancy variations of that. So I'm excited to get started. We'll get, we'll get rolling right now. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Here's our push up pike. So I'm going to do one push up. And I'm going to pike jump up and back out. One push up, pike up, back out. Now remember, if we're going to do a push up on the knee, it's one knee, not two. And when I drop that knee, I only drop the knee straight down. It's not this, right? That doesn't work. That doesn't challenge you and you won't get better at push ups if you do them that way. So once again, we're going to just drop the knee straight down if you're going to go to your knees. Only one knee, keep your feet loaded. So that knee goes down, one push up, pike up. One push up, pike up. Notice I'm not letting my feet fly up. Keep it tight and pike. Good, now I'm holding that plank because I want that extra challenge. If you need the break, take the break. If you're starting to get too tired for a push up, just do the pike part. All right, here we go. So I might just be doing a pike and running back out in the pike. Maybe that's a better angle for me right now. All right, so push up, pike. Here's three, two, one, and pause. Good, one more set. Push up to pike, set four, and we go to dips. Ready, go. One push up. One bite, one push, one bite. Eight seconds. Push through it. There's your break. Good job, okay. Now we're going into our floor dip. Fingertips can face your toes or you can place them out at an angle. So I'm literally just going to pick up my hips, bend my elbows, straighten up. Inhale down, exhale up. Making sure I'm not sinking into my shoulders. You want to add some resistance or make this more challenging? Try this. Right hand to left foot. Then back down, left hand to right foot. And pause. So I'm holding my hips up in crab crawl position if I want to keep that time under tension. Here comes set two. So in order to do this one, it might be a little intimidating at first, but if you think about it, you're going to lean onto the hand, kind of rotate your hips, and turn your legs on. Bend, up, up. Break, awesome job, we got two more sets. Squeeze the hips, and reverse plank, stretching my quads a little bit, go. Break. All right, we're almost there. All right, last set. Ready? Let's make the best set. Go. And done. And that is your quick Tabata upper body workout.